Take a walk along the remains of a Viking longship or a medieval hall, and, well, the first thing you notice is the timber. Solid, intact, and remarkably resistant to decay, it has survived centuries of rain, snow, and ocean spray. Contrast that with modern wood, which often rots or splinters within a decade, despite layers of paints, stains, or synthetic sealants. Vikings didn't rely on chemicals. They used a simple effective hack that made timber naturally rot-resistant. This method worked instantly, preparing wood to resist moisture, fungi, and insects. For backyard enthusiasts, homesteaders, and DIY builders, understanding and applying this technique can radically extend the life of fences, raised beds, sheds, and outdoor furniture. Vikings treated rot as a biological problem to starve rather than seal. Modern construction often treats rot by sealing wood, attempting to block water entirely. Vikings approached it differently. They knew that fungi needed three things to survive. Nutrients, moisture, and oxygen. Oxygen cannot be controlled, and moisture will inevitably reach timber. The solution was to remove nutrients and manage water so it did not linger. By starving fungi of food and controlling moisture flow, rot could not establish itself. For practical backyard use, this means preparation, removing saprich areas, soaking, drying and treating wood, is far more effective than relying solely on surface coatings. Vikings were selective about the trees they used. Slow-grown, dense heartwood was preferred because it naturally resists moisture and decay. Sapwood, rich in sugars and starches, was trimmed or avoided. Trees were felled in winter, during dormancy, when internal sap content was lowest. This simple timing reduced the food available for fungi and improved timber durability. Backyard builders can replicate this by choosing heartwood-rich lumber and sourcing dormant season wood when possible. Even small adjustments in selection dramatically improve wood longevity. The most powerful part of the Viking hack was soaking. Timber was submerged in rivers, ponds or tidal waters for weeks or months. This removed sugars and starches that fungi feed on, slowed microbial activity and allowed the wood to absorb moisture evenly. The effect was immediate. Timber became resistant to rot and insects long before construction began. Modern DIY builders can replicate this by soaking fence posts, beams or raised garden frames before slow drying. Even a few weeks of soaking makes a tangible difference in rot resistance. After soaking, timber was dried slowly under cover with airflow. This allowed fibres to compress naturally, increasing density and toughness while minimising cracks. Rapid kiln drying, which is quite common today, actually stresses wood and leaves it prone to rot when exposed to those wet-dry cycles. Backyard enthusiasts, you know, can achieve similar results by stacking lumber with spacers, covering it from rain, and just allowing it to air dry gradually. The patience pays off in wood that can endure years of exposure. Vikings sometimes lightly charred timber surfaces. This killed surface fungi, hardened fibres and reduced water absorption. They then coated the wood with pine tar, oil, tallow or wax. Unlike modern sealants that sit on the surface, these substances penetrated deeply, repelling water and pests while still allowing the wood to expand and contract naturally. For DIY application, lightly torch wood surfaces, brush away loose char and apply warm oil or pine tar. Reapplication over time ensures lasting protection against the elements. 
You know, the Vikings didn't just treat timber. They actually designed their buildings and ships to shed water efficiently. Steep roofs, overlapping planks, beveled joints, and elevated posts all worked together to prevent moisture from accumulating. And, well, airflow around the wood allowed it to dry out between rains or storms. If you're a backyard builder, you can emulate this by raising posts on stones, sloping surfaces, and leaving small gaps for airflow. In the end, design works hand-in-hand -hand with treatment to prevent rot before it even starts. The Vikings were diligent, inspecting and maintaining their timber regularly. Minor damage was repaired quickly, and surfaces were periodically re-oiled or re-tarred. Nothing was left to chance. This practice honestly prevented small issues from turning into structural failures. Modern, maintenance-free approaches often fail silently, but routine attention really does extend the life of wood dramatically. So, the Vikings' rot prevention hack was simple, immediate, and, well, remarkably effective. Timber selection, soaking, slow drying, light charring, deep oiling, smart design, and routine maintenance all worked together to create wood that could resist rot for centuries. Today, backyard builders, survivalists, and DIY enthusiasts can apply these same principles using local materials and basic tools, creating fences, decks, garden beds, and outdoor furniture that last far longer than most modern chemical coatings ever could. If this guide revealed the secret behind Viking timber durability and inspired your next backyard project, do subscribe to Backyard Wisdom, share it with fellow history enthusiasts and DIYers, and help preserve centuries of practical construction knowledge for future generations.